Hello, grade 9 learners. How are you today? Do you still remember me? Right. I am your English 9 on-air teacher. I am Sir Sam. And welcome back to Radio Z Escuela. Today is another worthwhile step towards your journey in English grade 9. For today, our topic is relevance and truthfulness of ideas in a material viewed. Again, our topic for today is relevance and truthfulness of ideas in a material viewed. After going through our class on air today, you are expected to determine the relevance and truthfulness of ideas in a material viewed. What are you waiting for? Get your English modules. And also, I encourage you to get and open your dictionary for vocabulary enrichment because later on, we may be encountering unfamiliar words. Sit back and relax. Before we will begin, I want you to recall our previous lesson on differentiating biases and prejudices. How do we do that? Listen to my instruction. You will examine pictures, then you will tell whether the images in the pictures have relevance to the idea of bias and prejudice as you understand it. All you have to do is say the word relevant if you think that the picture is connected to bias and prejudice or irrelevant if you think that the picture is not connected to the idea of bias and prejudice. Are you ready? Let us begin. First picture. The picture shows both men and a woman standing separately on a pile of coins. The man stands higher than the woman because he stands on a higher pile of coins. Now, does this picture show relevance to the idea of bias and prejudice? Is it relevant or irrelevant? The correct answer is relevant. The picture is relevant to the idea of bias and prejudice because it shows prejudice against gender as many opportunities favor men than women. Next, picture number two. The picture shows a black girl who looks sad and indifferent. Behind her, are two white girls happily talking to each other, most likely gossiping about the black girl. Now, does this picture show relevance to the idea of bias and prejudice? Is it relevant or irrelevant? The correct answer is relevant. The picture is relevant to the idea of bias and prejudice because it shows prejudice against race as blacks are treated differently in other countries. Next, picture number three. The picture shows images of boys and girls in their school uniforms, aligned at their desk, and in focus answering their schoolwork. Now, does this picture show relevance to the idea of bias and prejudice? Is it relevant or irrelevant? The correct answer is irrelevant. The picture is irrelevant to the idea of bias and prejudice because it shows no bias and no prejudice. How did you find the activity? It was exciting, I know. Perhaps you have now an idea what is meant by relevance of ideas. 
Let's find more of it in our lesson today. Have fun learning! Since you have already learned differentiating biases from prejudices in the previous topic, this time we will determine the relevance and truthfulness of idea on the material viewed. Photos, videos, comic strips, and graphics are materials usually viewed that present ideas. Through information technology, receiving and giving of information have been made easier with just a click of a button and in the fastest way possible. Despite this development, however, it is important to know how to see the truth and relevance behind the information viewed, especially that pictures, figures, and other data can be manipulated in the digital era. Now, I want you to view this video clip titled, Does Social Media Have the Power to Change the World? Here is what you are going to do. Listen to my instruction. I will be playing the video titled, Does Social Media Have the Power to Change the World? Please be guided with the following questions for you to answer. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Just try. Here are the guide questions. Number one, what are the social networking sites used all over the world? Number two, what are some information from the video clip that show relevance and truthfulness about you as a social media user? And number three, what do you think is the impact of social networking sites to people around the world. Are you ready? Now, let's start watching the material.
Now, let us go back to the guide questions and answer them based on the video you just watched and listened. Number 1. What are the social networking sites used all over the world? The answers are Twitter, Facebook, Mixit, Weibo, Wikontakti are some of social networking sites used all over the world. Number 2. What are some information from the video clip that show relevance and truthfulness about you as a social media user? The answers are the world population that uses social media is 26%. Social media helped in social change. Three-fifths of the population remains unconnected to social media due to censorship, inequality, and digital divide. Number three, what do you think is the impact of social networking sites to people around the world? The possible answer is, social media can be very influential to society as the number of its users increases rapidly. Were you able to provide some answers? Right, that's awesome. We will learn deeper on the relevance and truthfulness of ideas in a material viewed when we are back. So, stay tuned! The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanaway Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated. We in Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Now we are back. Let us continue our discussion about relevance and truthfulness. Learning how to judge ideas, points of view, and arguments presented in a material is important for students' growth as independent thinkers. In order to develop a sound framework to test arguments and enrich point of view, one should know how to analyze and to critically evaluate truthfulness and relevance of the information. However, how do you know that an idea is relevant? Well, a relevant idea contains information that supports the context, message, or theme of the material, and it consists of factual data. Our keywords here are supports and factual data which means that a relevant idea has something to do with the material. It is related, it is connected, which means it is important. The opposite of relevant idea is irrelevant idea. Irrelevant idea contains other information not related to the context, message, or theme of the material. Therefore, not important. Now, how do you know that an idea is truthful? Well, the ideas or information are considered truthful when it fits the fact and it is verifiable. Our keywords here are fits the fact and it is verifiable, which means that an idea 
is truthful when it is based on facts or something that can be proven and tested. Therefore, one must undergo fact-checking before accepting an information. Now, to further understand our lesson for today, we will view another material. After exploring the material, you will analyze information whether it is relevant and truthful. Listen to my instruction. I will be reading a material titled, Social Media Networks Are Changing Our Way of Having Relationships. Listen carefully because later, we will be having an activity based on this reading material. Here is the material. Social media networks are changing our way of having relationships. Communication technology is invading our life more than ever before. Mobile phones are never farther than a reach of our hands away. Emails, social networks, the internet are more present than ever before. More than 60% of all internet users also communicate via social networks and over 85% of all teenagers have accounts on social networks. Psychologists have started to define terms like Facebook addiction in their reports. Social media sites can be so addicting that people, especially youngsters, do not want to spend time with anything else. They leave their relationships in a virtual world. People often choose to talk to each other via mobile phone, Skype, or communicate via Facebook because they may be afraid of getting to know each other face to face. However, by doing this, they are missing out on their partner's facial expressions or the gestures that the other makes. Emotions are reduced to likes or dislikes, smiley faces, or other emoticons. Psychology experts have also noticed that more and more marriages are breaking up. One of the reasons may be because Facebook makes it possible to communicate with old friends from high school or former boy or girlfriends that you have not had contact with in ages. Couples are not communicating with each other as they should in real life. They sometimes even break up over Facebook and other social networks. Frequently, they do not argue about things in the usual way. They tend to carry out quarrels in public. As a result, others comment about something that should be solved privately. They don't share with each other. They share with everyone. It is strange to consider the fact that software developers and social network creators are in real life not really very social. Most of them are shy people who like to stick to their computers and do not create lasting friendships. Facebook has defined privacy in a new way. Many things that should be private have become public. Social media has changed the world. It has helped uprisings in Arab countries and overthrown governments. Facebook, Twitter, and others are omnipresent. They are the last things we worry about when we go to bed and the first things we check on when we get up. In the future, more social networks may pop up. We may be able to not only share photos with others, but also our shopping lists or illnesses. More and more sites on the web are telling people to share. The more followers and friends we have, the more excited we get. Now, we will do this exercise. Listen to my instruction. On a separate sheet of paper, answer this 10-item quiz. For items 1 to 5, 
analyze whether the idea is relevant or irrelevant based on the material given by writing the word relevant or irrelevant. For items 6 to 10, analyze whether the idea is truthful or untruthful based on the material given by writing the word truthful or untruthful. I will be reading the items twice. Now, are you ready? Let's start. Number one. The things we post on social networking sites are available at a specific time only. The things we post on social networking sites are available at a specific time only. Number two. Personal lives become publicized on social media. Personal lives become publicized on social media. Number three, users can control who sees their post online. Users can control who sees their post online. Number four, most of those have accounts on social media are teenagers. Most of those have accounts on social media are teenagers. Number five, many people relate to others without getting to know the real person face to face. Many people relate to others without getting to know the real person face to face. Number six, the term Facebook addiction has been defined by psychologists. The term Facebook addiction has been defined by psychologists. Number seven, social media didn't change the way people communicate with each other. Social media didn't change the way people communicate with each other. Number eight, Social media relationship is lasting. Social media relationship is lasting. Number nine. In the future, social media networks may do more what it can today. In the future, social media networks may do more what it can today. And number ten. Social media may influence how one thinks and decides in life. Social media may influence how one thinks and decides in life. We will check your answers when we are back. So, stay tuned! The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated Maverick Builders Incorporated Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, Nen Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated. We in Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. And now we're back. Were you able to do it? Let us find out. A while ago, I have left you an exercise for you to do. The instruction was, analyze the following scenarios. Identify whether it shows or depicts bias or prejudice by writing the words bias or prejudice. Try this exercise using a separate sheet of paper. Now, let us check the answers. Number one, he believes that the man who makes appearance in the business world and creates personal interest is the man who gets ahead. 
The correct answer is bias. It is a wrong judgment that usually the physical appearance guarantees success. Number two. One only reports what is pleasing in the event to avoid hurting the organizer's feelings. The correct answer is bias. It is being selective. There is unfairness because you only choose what to report. Number three. Doing what everyone does in the group with the fear of being not accepted. The correct answer is bias. It is a wrong judgment. You do not have to conform or follow others to be accepted. Number four. Selecting media stories to keep advertisers. The correct answer is bias it is also being selective you only choose what will benefit you at the expense of showing really the truth number five parents often favoring the younger siblings as they are immature and helpless the correct answer is bias it is a basic example of favoritism, which is being unfair. Number six. Other people consider some groups as illiterate and uneducated. The correct answer is prejudice. It is discrimination without good or sound reasoning. Number seven. Women are not allowed to vote until the early years of 20th century. The correct answer is prejudice. It is a discrimination based on gender. Women are capable well-beings. Number eight. Black people could not sit in the front of buses until 1950s and 1960s in the United States. The correct answer is prejudice. It is also a discrimination, racism to be particular. It is discrimination against one's race and color. Number nine. Some establishments are exclusive that do not allow other members outside their race. The correct answer is prejudice. This is also a form of racism. You are discriminating against others because of their race and color. Number 10. His being African American tore himself apart in pursuit of a dream. The correct answer is prejudice. This is also an example of racism in which you dislike someone or discriminate someone because of their race and color. Congratulations! You did well! Remember, detecting authors' biases and prejudices is an important skill in critical reading. One has to analyze what he is reading first before accepting author's idea. And I hope you will keep to yourself the learnings of today about bias and prejudice. I hope you learned something. This is Sir Sam Babiano, your English grade 9 on-air teacher. Goodbye and see you next time. Rajasi Escuela Executive and Technical Working Committee The School's Division Superintendent Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Romel R. Handayan Curriculum Implementation Division OIC Chief Dr. Arlene B. Lim School Governance and Operations Division Dr. Ruben J. Riponte Program Director Dr. Arlene B. Lim 
Assistant Program Director, Noemi P. Canales. Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. L. Decrees B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin, Dr. Andy P. Cabodoc, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangit, Ryan Villanueva, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Daylan S. Milabat, Medar D. Apit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee, Production and Communications, Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judiland T. U, Donna D. T. Bolifer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Riwen C. Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banyas. Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istaniol, Richard H. Arellano, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo C. Gutierrez Jr., Jade Karen R. Arais, Alisa May Garsuta, Sedi S. Caballero, and Jane S. Caballero. Sa Radyo Ziskwela, Ziguradong Masaya! Right and only here at Z Radio 88.5, ang istasyong Ziguradong Lingaw, Ziguradong Kuyao!